Hi, uh, my name is Daniel Cloud Campos. Well, I was raised in San Diego and Florida, half my life in San Diego, half in Florida. Uh, I started dancing when I was 11 years old. There was like a playground outside and my brother and I would go out there. But uh, across the street, there was these guys and they had like this mini circle, it was like five of them. And I was just like, what, what are they doing? And they're in the grass. And this one guy like did a flare and I was like, and when I, the moment I saw that move, it was just like, Whoa. My first ho ho uh, dance battle was at a, a house party. I was 11. I just started dancing and I was innocent, fresh. I didn't even know what a battle was. I just know it was like a competition. I know what a competition was. I learned some new moves and I wanted to show it. So I went out and I danced and like, and then these one guys did this move where you put the, the hand and the foot and they flip them and they flip you. So, and I, and I did that with my brother one time. I was like, oh, Kevin, let's do it. So I run. And I run up to him, I put my hand, my foot in his hand, he flips me, I do like a, a, a half a twist, I flip around, my feet miss the floor, I go straight into my chin on the concrete. And I get up and I go, like this. <laughs> and I went like this, and I put my, my finger right here, and my finger went into my chin, like inside, and I was like, <gasps> and it was just like blood everywhere, and I was like, yeah! <laughs> and I started crying. So like, that was my first experience of like, of a competition. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a dancer. That's just what I want to do for my life. Like, I just did it because I couldn't help it. And just, every day I woke up, I couldn't, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I couldn't, I even dreamed about doing head spins or whatever. So when I wake up, I'll go back straight to the room and just start dancing just because I couldn't help it. So there was no decision made. It was just like, it just made it for me. Like, I'm a perfectionist. So I'm always in the push to like, be better. So for me, it's never good enough. Um, that's a, it's a good and bad thing because, you know, it's good because you always try to be better and like you always improve and you look for different inspirations in different other art forms, but it was also bad because you, you never will be completely happy with the, what you do, you know, and I think that's a struggle with a lot of, you know, artists and perfectionists, and which, is, which is what I am. <laughs> And, uh, like Charlie Chaplin is a big influence with my dance because of his physical abilities and his comedic sense and like I love comedy and um, Bruce Lee is like another um, inspiration for me because of just how he thinks and like his philosophies and just his whole way and like how fast he is and like I don't know I just relate to him in that sense and um, of course Michael Jackson um, Donald Connor. My biggest ones are Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly. Like usually, mostly people back that are not around anymore. <laughs> but those are my influences in dance. If you don't know who they are, look them up and I'm sure you'll be inspired by them too. Number one uh, is I'm a, I'm a miracle baby. So when I was born, I didn't have a pulse and it took the doctor five minutes to bring me back to life. That's, uh, that's a big one. No one knows about me. I didn't know that until I was 15. <laughs> Mom told me. I'm really insecure. I hate interviews. I love, I love being in nature more than any place in the world. In the mountains, somewhere. My favorite ice cream in the world is, uh, is in Argentina called San Marino's ice cream. It's my favorite. Is that five? That's it. <laughs> hey, you made it. <laughs>